Hey guys, do you need anything from the shop? I'm gonna go there now. Um, do we have bread in the kitchen? Uh, let me just, let me just try and remember. No, I don't think we do. Maybe you could get some if they have any in the shop. Oh my god. Could you please get me like a bracelet or something? I don't know. Actually, no, don't get me anything. Can you get me a can of Coke? I love Coke. I mark down the Coke can. Um. Um. I'll try and get bread and Coke. And we also need, well, Milky Bars, obviously. Because someone ate them all. It's not my fault that they taste good. You know, where's my phone? I remember Pigeon was using it for something. Um, no, I'm pretty sure she left it in her room. I'll go check my room. Well, I'm gonna buy something exciting in the store. Oh, finally. Uh, yeah, there's my phone. Bye, guys! Oh, well, Kiwi's gone to the shop. There's my phone. Yeah, still got my nice wallpaper. I guess I'm just gonna listen to music then. I'm gonna listen to some cold Foxy. Ugh, can't ever put these on. Oh, these headphones are so comfy when they are on correctly. Oh yeah, I love this song. It's Metal Straw by Cold Foxy. Hmm. <gasps> Where? Is it? Wait, which shop did Kiwi say that he's going to? Oh no! Please don't let it be that weird shop. I hate that shop. No, 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 no! That's gonna be so bad if it's the weird shop. Half an hour later. Hey guys, I'm home. <gasps> Kiwi, he's home. I better go tell Roxy. Hey, yo, Roxy. Roxy. Ugh. Why do you gotta ruin everything, Pigeon? You just slapped me in the back of the head. And I got all tangled up in my headphones. What is it? It's just Kiwi's back from the shop. Okay, oh, what are the people going on outside? I know the traffic these days. Hmm. No wonder he took so long, even though we don't even have a car, so. Well, let's see what he bought. Okay. Hey, Kiwi. So, they were all out of bread in the store, and they were all out of Coke. They actually only had a few items in the store because they were closing. They only let me get one thing. And there was a long queue as well, so. <clears throat> you won't believe what I just got. Oh my god, is it a new TV? A new pair of headphones. So then Pigeon won't be playing his annoying YouTube in my ears. Even better. Oh my god, better than new headphones? Oh my god! Better than a new TV or money? You better not have spent my money on this. <laughs> of course I didn't spend your money. <laughs> Don't tell him, guys. I spent his money. I spent 50 euros on this. You're talking out loud. No, I'm whispering. You can't hear me whisper. Whisper, whisper. Shut up. Just tell us what you got. Okay, okay. I got you guys one of these. How much does this cost for this plushie? Um, 50 euro. 
you spent 50 euro on this. It's better than what Pigeon buys. Oi! I buy useful stuff like new TVs and buildings. Whatever, this thing's supposed to be like really cool. You know? It's supposed to be able to like do stuff. So how about we take it out of the package already? Ooh, let me take it out. Okay, let me just bring it over. There we go. Now you can take it out. Okay. Move, Kiwi. Why you bully me? Okay, let's just like... Well, that was easy. Why is it in so much plastic? Wait a saccharoony? Hmm, did that just move? No, you're seeing stuff, dude. <sighs> what happened? Oh my heck, that thing just moved again. I don't see nothing. Yeah, Pigeon, it's all a trick of your mind. Mind tricks now? Okay. Ow. Guys, did you ever think about space? Where are we supposed to keep this thing? In the washing machine or something? Washing machines live longer with Cal gone. I forgot that he did that. Oh. Could have sworn it wasn't there before. Oh well. I'm gonna go listen to some cold foxy and complain about my sister being annoying. Eh. Pigeon, you could take care of it. Listen here, you little me, except not me. What even are you? You're like so small. I think I met someone that looked exactly like you. Wasn't his name Fred Bear? But on your packaging, what does it even say? It says your name is Golden Freddy. But you look like Fred Bear, so I'm gonna call you Fred Bear. Okay, Fred Bear, this is my house, so you better not spend your money on anything. Okay, got it. You got it. <laughs> I'm gonna convince the others that you can move, because they don't believe me. But they'll know you're evil. You evil, evil being. <clears throat> the next day. Alright, I just gotta sneak into Kiwi's room while he's still asleep. And make sure that that evil creature is still there where I left it. Ah, so you still are in the same spot. Fred Bear. <sighs> um... Mummy, is that you? What the hell? I don't want breakfast. It's not time for school yet. What does he be dreaming about? Anyways, you Fredbear, you must stay here. Actually, no, I'm going to bring you to the other room. You're coming with me. Okay, so I'm gonna put you back in your box so then you can't escape. Okay, let's just put you back in there. Time to put you in where you belong. You put him in the box. Okay, now. Close you up first. We have to just 
Yeah. Alright, you tiny little creature. Oh, pigeon, what are you doing? Oh my god, did you really just put it back in the box? Yes! No, I won't be able to move. Oh my god, you're acting like Spoontoop. It's not an alien or something. <sighs> just calm down, pigeon. It's not alive. Well, I'm getting rid of it. I want a refund. I don't want this creature no more. I mean, I guess it is kind of creepy. Its eyes kind of follow you. Yeah. Now that's creepy. So, that means that it's alive. If it can look at you from every single angle. <laughs> Cars. Um... I guess we can talk to Kiwi about this. If you really think it's haunted or something. Pigeon, you're a bit crazy at times. But I guess it is kind of creepy. So, I don't really want that creepy creature watching me. Yeah, and it can move. Really, really can move. Please, Roxy, you gotta believe me. Fine, fine. I believe you then. I mean, if it can look at you with its eyes from every angle, then I guess it's gotta be alive. It's always watching or something. Finally, you believe me! I swear it is alive. I mean, yeah, I guess... We do gotta tell Kiwi now. I think we should return it. You know, Pigeon, I think you might actually be onto something. I mean, I don't really have any evidence or anything, but I think you might be say saying the truth. Yeah, of course I'm speaking the truth. I'm so happy that you actually believe me, Roxy. Okay, then let's just take this thing back to Kiwi's room and just tell him we don't want it no more. Yep, I'll just wa- Oh my god, Pigeon, you're right. This thing really can move. It's alive. Oh my god. 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 We gotta warn Kiwi. Wait up, Roxy. Kiwi. Kiwi. Oh my god. What is it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's Kiwi's bed. What did you do with Kiwi, you monster? <laughs> I told you it could move. What did you do to Roxy? You're next. Oh my god, I can talk now. Ah! <laughs> I need to call the police or something. <sighs> Deep breaths, pigeon. Deep breaths. It's okay. I don't know where Kiwi is. <laughs> I don't know what it did to Roxy. And I don't know what it's gonna do to me. Okay, I need to calm down. Remain calm. Roxy's phone should be in her room. I could just use that to call the police. And then they can come here. And they can save me. <gasps> what if they don't believe me? Mm, that'd be so bad. I need to try it anyways. I need to make them believe. <gasps> no! You can't. <laughs> disappeared I have no <laughs> now I'm gonna die I'm gonna die I'm gonna die I'm gonna die <gasps> the door <sighs> oh hello oh 
Twisted Foxy, you're here. You gotta believe. You gotta believe me. There's this haunted. <gasps> My neighbors, they're not safe. My roommates, they're not safe. <sighs> Nowhere safe. Not even my own house. Not even my own street. Not even my own garden. Not even my neighbor's house. <sighs> Soon all my friends and family aren't gonna be safe and it's all my fault. No. It's all Kiwi's fault. He's the one that bought that stupid thing from the shop. I wouldn't have been here if it weren't for Kiwi. <sighs> There's no point. There's no point on this. Not now. What am I gonna do? I guess I'll just lay here and accept my fate. No. You know what? You're small and weak. Stop hurting my friends! Ugh. What just. Oof. Oh my god, I did it! Oh my god, all of you people, I've never been so happy to see, to see you all here, together! Oh, what was that little golden thing? Mm. I'll never not believe you ever again, Pigeon. I'm so sorry for buying that! I forgive you all. I really do. I'm just so happy to see you all alive! I don't know what happened there. <laughs> My plan fooled again. <laughs> Why must I fail? The end.